Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Amanda here. I figured I'd sit down and play with makeup and why not film it? Um, it's literally like eight o'clock at night. My boys are finishing up watching a movie and then they're gonna go to bed. It's kind of been storming, so my dogs are going crazy. It's gonna be loud, it's gonna be crazy. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so I have a whole bunch of new makeup. Half is new, half is not very new, but even the stuff that's not very new, I haven't used it very often and so I'm trying to jump into my makeup more and use it so it's kind of like a shop my collection but I didn't take you along with me to shop through the collection. Uh, Alright so I already have a little bit of First Aid Beauty um, moisturizer on my face. I put that on a little bit ago to let it sink in and now I'm going to jump into the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. I have this in shade 3 light medium. Uh, you can use this as or per the box I've never used this before you use this underneath your makeup as kind of a glowy primer or you can also put it on top of your foundation um, if you want to put extra glow in certain spots so I'm just using a Sephora um, 41 brush and I'm just gonna blend this in all over and then we'll put some foundation over the top so I put that on it I kind of expected it to be way more sticky. I don't know why, maybe just because of the glow aspect, but it sat down really nice. Like I could wear this as if this was my foundation. I would just put a little bit, um, I get really bad tan lines from my sunglasses. And so the lights are helping me a little bit. Like if you were in person, you could see how dramatic um, the contrast between my eyes and my cheeks are. But um, no, that feels really nice. Let's hope it doesn't break me out. It has a little bit of a tint to it, but not very much. I want to say this came in like five or six shades. Definitely not enough to be your actual foundation. But if you had super even skin, I think you could totally pass it off. I'm super into light coverage. Or not even that. I mean, I'm personally into light coverage, but I'm super into like where it looks like you're not wearing very much makeup, but you're super bronzy and you're super glowy. I think that is stunning, especially like the spring and the summer. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Um, my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, I've used this, um, I don't actually know, oh, that looks like it's gonna be really light. So I'm not gonna put very much on at all. Good thing we have some bronzer, we can darken it up. I have this in shade 27S Light Medium Sand. This comes in a drop it, a dropper is what I was trying to say. I'm going to put just a couple drops on a damp beauty blender. Just like one little one just because like I said I'm not trying to go for full coverage I just want to kind of even out and take some of this glow down yeah that was I mean I guess it's probably more so my shade but it looks pretty light so I'm blending this out really really sheer I just want to make sure um, I'm not really a fan of how I put it on I would have preferred to put it on my hand and blotch it out on my hand and then put it on my face because when I first started you saw those dots all over I felt like like I'm terrified of there being dots all over my face now. Um, you can definitely still see the glow coming through. I have a mirror behind my camera set up. Um, I don't have anything to hold my hair back with right now, so I'm sorry. Um, I kind of wish it was a little bit more glowy, but we can add more glow. So, I mean, the foundation, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's a nice light coverage. It ended up being a somewhat decent color. Like, it's okay. I actually kind of think I liked my skin, how it looked when I was just wearing the Flawless Filter. Um, but we will move on from there. Oh, I bumped the camera. Sorry. What's going on? Like, you know, when you're like at the end of the night and you're just tired and delusional and you get kind of crazy, or at least I do. Like, that's where we're at. All right, so I'm going to pick up the Cream Contour Bronzer um, from Tarte. It's it breezy. It's in the shade Seychelles. I think it's Seychelles. I don't know. Um, let me pick. Let's see, do I want to use it? Let's try it on a brush first, and then we'll see how that goes. And we'll move on. Let me find a cream brush. I have so many brushes. How do I not have one that I want for this? Maybe I'll just pick up this one because it's so I don't go crazy over. So it's really like balm like. Like chapstick balm you know oh that picked up really nice so I'm going to kind of pounce this out on the back of my hand so I don't go in like with a huge dot 
I've never really done cream bronzer before other than when I played around with mascara beauty um I really think that was like the only I own a Huda bronzer contour cream shade but I never really used it I think what I, I think I'm gonna like it best with a beauty blender all right so let's see let's get this out of the way it's a really pretty color and it's blending out really nice I like that I feel like you could blend it away really easily, like if you made a mistake. I, I don't know, I've just always been so afraid. I'm gonna get some of the excess off the back of my hand with uh, creamy bronzers. I'm just always so terrified of like getting muddy. Really. Oh, I know, of it looking muddy, but I actually think this looks pretty good. It'd be a lot easier. All right, things might look a little bit different. This is like an hour later. Um, I just got off of a FaceTime with an old friend from college. Like, oh, it just made my heart so happy. I mean, I didn't go to college with her. She went to college with my husband. Her and her husband did, but we were like friends all through college. Um, oh, it just made my heart so happy to talk to her. Um, I hadn't seen her, it's been probably like two years since I've seen her. Yeah, her little one's almost two. So maybe like, maybe like a year and a half since I've seen her. They live in Reno, but oh, it just made my heart so happy to talk to her. Um, so yeah, a lot of time has passed by. It is now 9.30 almost. Um, but I was just putting on bronzer, which it's still sitting on my face really good. Like uh, everything is still sitting on my face pretty dang well um, for not setting anything. Uh, I really like how natural everything looks. Uh, I'm totally into that. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more bronzer though but I'm just gonna go in this time on my actual beauty blender and because like the whole time I was talking like I was touching my face and so I probably rubbed a lot of makeup off so let's just deepen this up a little bit and then we'll put some oh, I'm probably like shaking the camera so much sorry put some up here no this has been fun like being able to reconnect with a lot of old friends um like you just get to that certain point in age. Like not that people aren't friends anymore, but life is just so busy. Cue my child walking in. Yes, my love. Um, on Saturday, can, can we have a robe party and all of us wear robes? We'll see. Oh, and letting them stay up late and watch a movie and now they're sleeping on the couch. And I Purely because I didn't want to fight with them, so. I'm going to go to sleep with my robe, mommy. Yeah. Um, um, this is Remington. In the morning, I'm going to cue my robe. Will 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 you? We'll put your robe on in the morning. Okay, boys, okay. it's super late. Make sure you go potty and wash your hands, good night. and then go lay down on the couch. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Construction site. Good night, best friend. Will you close my door, baby? Remington, will you close my door, please? Oopsie. I totally gave in to them and let them watch a movie, but you know what? We're in quarantine. There's no rules right now, right? I mean, they're up two hours past their bedtime. I'm gonna regret this tomorrow. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little on around the edges. I really, it's super natural. It's not like overly in your face. I like it a lot because my foundation was a little bit light. Anything that's excess, actually I should do this and like wipe off everything that was on the brush. Does that even work? I should probably just do this. <laughs> Look at from like my double chin tan lines, like how pale. That is, but oh, why am I dogging? Oh, I'll do it. Monkeys, be quiet, please. All right. Uh, I like that. To clean it up just a little bit, um, I'm gonna put a little concealer. I'm gonna use the ColourPop shade Medium 24. It needs to be mixed up a little bit. It's been sitting. Um, just to like give me. This is a little bit more of a peachy undertone. So I'm gonna put it right here to kind of even out this line. And like I said, I was sitting a lot on my hands. So a lot of that foundation is gone. I'm gonna use the same, let's see, Beauty Blender. It doesn't really look like there's any more bronzer left on it. And then just tap this out to make sure that I didn't take the bronzer down too crazy low. And just to build up that coverage a little bit more and any of the excess, just bring up 
and then kind of blend it away. I don't want like a super harsh line, but now there's some dimension there. <sighs> but yeah, so how's everyone's quarantine going? Like I was saying, like it's fun to reconnect with old friends um, just cause you kind of have the time to right now. Like I love and appreciate so much. Like you don't even understand, like appreciate those friendships that you can go weeks, months, sometimes even years without talking. But when you reconnect, it's like no time has passed. And that's how it's always been uh, with Sarah and Taylor. Sarah was who I was just talking to. Like it's always just been one of those easy friendships. Like we both have children. Like we each have two children. Um, we all are busy with our lives and but we're able to connect and it's like you don't even skip a beat like oh I just like I have this friend Tina um from Bend when we lived in Bend and it's another her and her husband Chris it's another one of those friendships that like no time has passed even though years will pass without us talking um which makes me sad because obviously I love them and like our friends Matt and Leah that live in Bend like Anytime we go and stay with them, it's like we never even moved away sort of thing. Like, so this is a ColourPop in shade light. I want, now that I saw that this is peachy, it's kind of bringing me back that the reason I don't like this one as much is because it's a little peachy for me and it's too dark for under eye and the light. I want to say, I wonder if they've come out with more shades. I think I got this like their first round. I feel like just looking at it, it's kind of giving me vibes that it's a little too yellow. I'm just gonna do a few little drops. I don't really need much coverage. Um, it's more so just kind of even things out and then we'll go from there. Oh, I might've did make, three drops might've been way too much for the amount of makeup that I'm wearing. Careful. All right, got that blended out. I was a little nervous at first that it was a little bit much, but no, I kind of like that. Okay, I was gonna see what shade I would need it to do up top, but I think this one will be just fine. I'm just gonna do a little, a little design, and we're just going to pounce this out. I don't know, like, don't get me wrong, quarantine's awful. There are so many businesses that are struggling. There's so many families that are struggling. There's so many, like, there's a lot of bad. But also, there's a lot of good. Like, I choose to live that life where, like, you focus on the good. And I love that life has slowed down. I mean, like, hear me out. Look at the beauty industry, for one. Oh, the amount of launches that were happening. Like, look at ColourPop, like, which I love ColourPop, like, no shade. Like everyone knows that ColourPop was that company that release, 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 release. But everyone was following suit. Like before, like five years ago, like a company would release something and then months later release something. Like now every single day, a different company was releasing something and there were so many companies and like everyone was making so much money. And apparently I'm not opposed to it. I mean, look at all the products I have. Like I love it. But life was just getting Boom, boom, boom. I don't even know how to explain it. Like everyone was going too fast. Like, I mean, look at Instagram, like look at me, look at me, look at me. Like I have this life, I have this life. Like, I mean, I get that I post on social media and I get that I have a YouTube channel and I only really vlog the happy occasions and the uh, holidays and stuff like that, that I don't really show the day-to-day -day life. Um, but I feel like that's what like 90% of the world is now is only sharing the good. I spent all day today yelling at my children, which is why I'm giving in to them right now and letting them stay up and watch a movie really late because it was a really rough day. And I feel like so many people were just like rolling with life and not accepting things that were going on in their life or dealing with things that are going on and just like forever on the run. And now, I mean, whether you're religious or not, whether, I mean, I don't, I look at this as God needed everybody to sit down and take a breather. Or, okay, maybe not everyone. God needed me and my family to sit down and take a breather and spend more time together. And I love it. I love that my children are home with me every day. Do I complain about it? Do I get mad at the laundry? Do I get mad at them arguing? Yes. 
but is it amazing that they're home? Like, I honestly, like if you get on TikTok, which don't do it or do it, but I'm sorry, like you'll never get on TikTok. Like, I love it. Um, like there's a couple of families that I follow and like their kids are college age and they all had to come home because of isolation. They couldn't be at their colleges anymore. And it honestly brings tears to my eyes for happiness because how amazing for those parents who like probably thought that their children would never all live under the same roof again. And now they get all this time together and yes, it's stressful and yes, it's hard and no, it's not the way life was supposed to go. And I get that not all families are the good side. Like it makes me super sad for the families and for the kids who like their only release and their only get away from their scary life was to go to school and now they don't have that. So I, I completely understand that and I recognize that. But I also, I just think that, I don't know, there's a lot of good, like it sucks, I get it. Like, I'm, I don't even know how I got off on this tangent, but looking at it, I feel like I need more bronzer. So we're also gonna go in with the Fenty just to try it out. Um, I don't know, like, like I said, the only thing I miss, I mean, there's a lot of things obviously I miss, but the thing that like strikes it the most for me Oh, this brush, by the way, is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH08. Um, oh, I like that. It blends out pretty good, too. I don't really know if it would blend out. Let's see if it would blend out as good with a beauty blender. Um, like, I miss... Yeah, that's not... It takes way too much effort. Oh, I'm going with a brush. Oh, I'm, like, super faded. Um, I miss just hanging out with my parents. I've seen them a couple times. Why is this side blend out good? And this side kind of not. Let's see. Let's not talk. My husband just sent me a picture of him. Hold on, let me get my iPad. <laughs> I won't show you what he wrote. Because it's an inside joke with our neighborhood friends. But look at how cute he looks. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. After this, I'll just send it to our friends group, but, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my forehead. I'm probably gonna break out so bad because all these cream products. Ah, did I ruin it already? No, I'm good, but YOLO. Um, I don't remember. How many times have I said that already tonight that I don't remember? Uh, again, welcome to this crap show. Why do you follow me? Um. Oh, I like that. I like the little, mm, I take that back. Do I really want sheen in my hairline? Let's just blend it away a little bit. Make sure it's all nice and blended. That's another thing that I'm trying to not be like an over crazy blender because we all know that that's my problem. Um, Any excess, I'm just gonna put on my nose. And underneath, I just straight up put that on my teeth. Let's just go in with it. Let's see. Give me. Look at that lip injection. I like it. I like it a lot. Cool. Except for that lip color is not doing it for me. Like the foundation lips. So I'm just going to put a little gloss on. This is Fenty Beauty. Uh, sweet mouth. I got this in a two pack. It also came with uh, Fenty glow, which I actually already own this, but I like Fenty lip glosses a lot. I hate the look of foundation lips, so okay, this is a real... Trying to be all organized and drop. Oh, there's a camera. I keep trying to get that which the... yes, there's fuzz on me. I'm wearing a black shirt and my dog shed like crazy. So of course there's fuzz on me, but I keep trying to grab this fuzz at my shirt, but it's on my viewfinder. It's not actually on me. All right, what's next? Um, I'm gonna try, ooh, let's set it with powder a little bit. Is that our next product to do? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the La Mer The Powder, which this, sh yet again, the angle is gonna look different because my memory card just filled up and so I had to delete old footage. <sighs> this video is gonna take forever. All right, 
Um, so this is La Mer, the powder, which this thing is so crazy heavy and it should be because it's stupid expensive. Um, but it comes with its own little poof. Like, look at how cute you are. All right. So I'm just going to lightly, that's not cute, lightly powder my face. That's way too small. You're killing me. Um, 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 um. I'm going to pick up my beauty blender powder poof. Oh, my husband's on his way home. Baby mama. Not his baby mama. Woo, no. Uh, his patient must not be close to delivering. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this down very, very lightly because I still kind of want the glow to come through. And then I'm also gonna put um, a cream highlight. I'm gonna put some of that primer on just to see how, cause you know what it said like, all right. I like, I like mm, I'm just weird. I like putting it on with a brush. Cool, cool. All right. So now that we have very, very light powder, I definitely, you can still see a glow. I feel like it's late and so like my lights are washing me out really bad. Like, cool, cool. All right, um, let's put some bronzer on real quick because this is gonna drive me crazy. So I have the Shady Biz by Fenty. I'm gonna pick up a bronzer brush. Um, I'm gonna use my Scott Barnes S65 brush first to kinda contour a little bit, which I really wasn't going in for a chiseled look, but I guess we are. So I like to go in first sideways like this, and then I turn my brush to blend it out. Cause I like the line, but I don't want like a super, super harsh line. And I turn it sideways. I don't really need too much bronzer because I already have two bronzer products underneath it, but I just wanted to try it out. Okay, Karen, just let it be. Not my mother-in-law, Karen, just so we're clear. <laughs> like Karen, like K-A-R-E-N. My mother-in-law is an I-N, so. Not you, Karen, just all the Karens of the world. Again, I'm losing my mind. And I feel like I'm super dark right now. I look okay in the camera, but in my, um, in my mirror, looks like I went a little crazy. But as long as it's look okay on camera, I guess that's all that matters. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the edge of my nose and underneath my lip before that cheap COVID lip filler since we can't go anywhere slash I've never had lip filler. I'm way too much of a scaredy cat. Okay. I mean, it's bronze enough, right? Yeah, it works. Okay, let's put on some blush. And like I said, I'm using the Madison Miller Ofra collab, which I don't really know who Madison Miller is, but I like her blush. I think it's a really pretty color. And I'm just going to dabble this on my cheeks, cheeks, on my cheeks. <laughs> I feel like I was super chatty and now I'm just super crazy. Ooh, I like that. But again, I don't feel like I'm as glowy as I wanna be. Um, so now I'm gonna blend, like I said, I'm trying to be better about blending. I always feel like I over blend too much. And so I'm trying to not over blend, but I can't put bronzer and blush on and not blend. Like it's just in my DNA to do it. Um, for highlight, let's just try it out. Let's just start with this on top. I'm going to be smart about it. Instead of putting this on my face, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna pick up my beauty blender and I'm going to dabble it around and I'm going to put it on. Did that do anything? Hmm? Let's see. I need a mirror. Cause from here, it doesn't really look like it did anything. Hmm. Kinda made me a little cakey. But again, I had powder. You don't put cream products all over powder. I understand. This was just like an experiment. But we gotta even it out. Oh, that might've been too much. Oh, but you can, t oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like that. I just need to put more, okay. Okay. 
my husband's gonna like I said I didn't think my husband was gonna be able to come home tonight and so he's gonna come home and I'm gonna have like makeup on and he's gonna be like I'm sorry uh what were your plans <laughs> and actually it didn't break it out or it didn't make it cakey all right I don't remember what side I did it on I want some on my nose I want some on the tip of my nose boop 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 blend blend up here and up here and blend it actually looks pretty dang good I like it I like it a lot so so far I like it underneath and I like it on top Ooh, that's what she said um sorry mom it's just a joke I'm cutting that, hopefully. Um, so far, I like that. That looks pretty. I'm still going to though, however, because what's what's too much glow? I don't know. So let me pick up, what's a good brush for this? I kind of just want it to be loose. I don't want it to be crazy. Oh, well, let's do this one. You look nice and fluffy. Okay, this is Amorphe Jacqueline Hill JH09. And this is the loose um, luminous powder in Brighten Up. I'm not gonna go too crazy because I'm already pretty glowy. And so I'm swirling it around. And then <laughs> does that give you like back in the day bare minerals vibes? Oh, cool. Show that texture. Cool. Does that even like really do anything? Other than get all over my shirt, was this an unnecessary step? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And put a little here and a little here. Little right there. Cupid's bow? Will you go on the Cupid's bow? Will it work? <laughs> Alright. Let's inspect it closer. There's powder all over my shirt. Cool. Let's. I don't really need a glowy mustache and blend this. There's just a lot of powder sitting on top. Mm. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I could have been just fine with just this, but I mean, I guess I like how glowy it made my cheek right there. In person, it's a little, it's a little much, but on camera, because of the bright lights, it's kind of like diffusing it out so it's not as bad. It's diffusing out so bad, like you can't barely see my bronzer and my blush. Um, it's because it's so dark and my lights are so bright. I, sorry, I'm not very good at this editing thing. Like I'll try and figure that out. All right, let's see. Mm, next, I need to put a darker lip on. I think it's killing me that my lights are, lips, my lights, my lips are so light. And then how are you gonna do? This is in the shade Fenty Glow. Mm -hmm. mm, I love her lip gloss. All right, let's jump into eyes. I'm just gonna do kind of like a basic look. Oh, let me do my eyebrows real quick and then I'll be right back because y'all don't need to watch me do my eyebrows. So I have you in super close because we're getting ready to do eyes. My brows are on, super simple. I never claim to be very good at brows. You see, it's so mad, like in particular at in particularly, is that how you say it? At Jaclyn Hill's videos back in the day when she, like, she wouldn't show her brows, like doing her brows and I'd be like, show us, like, come on, we're trying to learn. But now that I'm on the other side of this, uh, showing your brows and when you put mascara on is absolutely the worst because like you make the weirdest faces. Sometimes it takes you 10 seconds, sometimes it takes you 10 years. Like, you'll understand why. All right, so. I'm going to play in the nude 
the new nude Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to do a really basic look because it's 9.30 at night. I'm going to pick up a big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into, oh, let's try not blind you. I'm going to jump in bare just to give myself an even layer. I'm going to do that up to the brow bone. And then I'm going to go into play, which is this peach color. It has a decent amount of kickback, but that doesn't really bug me. But if you hear me tapping and seeing the fluff, that is why I'm trying to bring you in closer because I'm never really good about, well, I'm not very good at eye looks anyway. So I probably save you from having to look at my face this close, but I'm just gonna blend that out I'm still using the same big, big, big fluffy brush just to help diffuse everything. Make everything cohesive, cohesive. Okay, now let's get a little bit smaller. I'm covered in fluff. Um, a little bit smaller of a brush. This is Morphe M535 in case you care. I'm going to go into Secret, which is this shade right here. Oh. All that juicy. <sighs> so much. I'm gonna keep this out in the outer corner, kind of like the last two thirds of the eye. I'm barely, like, I'm holding my brush pretty far back so it gives you less pressure. And then I'm barely touching my eye with it. And I'm just doing little circular motions and swishing back and forth. Yeah. I always hate when I forget the color I was in. And even eyeshadow looks like, oh, this is making me so mad. The lighting is just not picking up the color as well. Um, I need to figure out my lighting or maybe just not film at 10 o'clock at night. Um, it used to always make me mad too when like an eye look, I would feel like they got it done in like 10 seconds and mine just wouldn't look the same. Well, they cut out like 10 minutes of blending because, and the layering, like I always just thought like once you went in with the color, that was it. Like going back and forth i didn't realize that that was a thing i mean maybe that's just me and i'm an idiot but oh my gosh look at so much so much fallout for the millionth time i had to jump off real quick um because my husband called me but um i just did a little bit more blending picked up the big fluffy brush and blended back and forth and just built up the color until I wanted it and then I kind of think that's all I want to do. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to grab a smaller dense brush and jump into a raw, which is a deep burgundy. And I'm just going to put this, oh, I got an itch, but I can't really itch it. Um, I'm just going to put this in the outer corner just to deepen up. There's like a hair or something touching me. Oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, get off of my face. Get off of my face, you itch. There we go. Um, put it in the outer corner. Just do you see how it like just gives the eye some dimension? So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Again, just the outer V. Like you're literally just making a V shape up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then again, you're barely like putting any pressure. You don't want to like be stabbing your eye out. Your eye is very, very, very delicate. Oh, I like the way that this is turning out. I need this side to be a little bit darker. These lights are playing me. Just do that. And again, I'm gonna just blend, just blend it all together. No harsh lines. Pick up a glitter. I'm gonna use Crave, which is like my favorite shade in this palette, just with my finger and just pounce it on the front, like two thirds of the lid. Mm, because it's not showing up, I'm gonna go into Charmed, which is this shade down here. Um, I just think the bright lights are just making it hard to see. So I'm trying to make it so y'all can see it. All right. 
I'm just going to pounce that on, blend the colors together, take the fluffy brush, kind of meld these two layers together. All right, I'm gonna pick up a stick brush and go into this shade, The Charms, the last one, and put it just underneath my waterline and blend it back. It's kind of like a pinky purple. You can kind of see it like when the light hits it. And then I'm gonna jump into Tease, which is that purple shade right here, and do that underneath and connect it and connect it with the outer V as well. Um, I'm gonna jump into Bear and Crave. So it's like white, white, and glitter, glitter. I'm gonna put this in my inner corner just to brighten things up. See if that even does anything. So much fallout there, not worth it. Mm, yeah, I guess it, oh, so much. Now I remember why I don't like play with this palette too crazy much. The fallout kind of really does drive me crazy. All right, I'm going to use my Ofer palette that I use for blush um, to highlight underneath my eye. I'm gonna go between the two highlights in here and just do it underneath the arch of my brow. Again, make it act like we had a facelift during quarantine when Lord knows all we did was stuff our face. A little bit on the nose, a little bit more in the inner corner, because yellow, oh, that one might have gone a little overboard. All right, cool. Now I can push you out. Okay, now we're like at a somewhat decent range. Um, I'm just gonna use a setting spray. I'm going to use my Continuing Mist, Continuous setting mist from morphe i love this setting mist so much i also picked it up in matte um in the mattifying but lord knows i'm not going for a mattify look today so i'm not gonna waste it all right so we are going to let let's find my fan <sighs> someday i'll be like peter mon and be able to open it like a badass but i'm not a badass so all right. I'm losing my mind. Absolutely losing my mind. That nose highlight is a little intense. Okay. Now I am going to put on a thin layer of mascara. Where's my mascara? There it is. All right. To use you. Again, this is the Maybelline Last Sensational. And just put on a thin layer like super thin layer, more so just to make it so it'll meld with my eyelashes. I'm gonna put it on the bottom lash. Again, just kind of a thin layer just so you can see my lashes. I don't really want anything crazy. I'm looking at my skin up close, it actually looks pretty good. It's a little cakey around my nose, but that's to be expected. There's tons of products in this area, so I mean, it doesn't concern me or upset me in any way, but let's attempt the lashes. All right, so I'm going to attempt to do it with the black. Um, I'm just gonna use it kind of as a winger liner. Um, let's keep you here for this. And then I'll probably take the other one off camera, but let's go in. Um, I'm just gonna make a little swoop and a little swoop with the baby line like not winging it out nothing I'm just gonna do that so these aren't too crazy dramatic so just going to set them on oh I should 
They are a little long. I should have trimmed them. Oh, this is so much easier with glue, or so much easier with tools, like to place it on, but bishy on. Who am I? I hate me too, don't worry. All right, let's go in on this side. Put on some more gloss. And I think I'm done. I mean, <sighs> oh, I like it. It's like way more. What's going on with this hair? There's so much like dry shampoo in here. I could probably like stick it up at this point. Um, I'm super into this. These eyelashes are super cute. They're not crazy. It's definitely a little long. I definitely need to trim it and I'll do that next time. Um, I love this. So in case you watched my last video, this totally works. Oh my God. Ah! Okay, I know I'm losing my mind. I get it. I promise this is just water. All right, I'm gonna go before I embarrass the crap out of myself. So far, I love every single product, I think. Ah, I'm not so, like, I like the Huda palette a lot. Um, I like it. It's super powdery. That does bug me, but it's pretty. I like it. I've used it a lot of times. Um, the, let's see, let's just go in order. Let's do that. Love this. So far, based off of first impressions, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Oh no, my hair's gotta stay this way. Oh, even though it looks crazy, it looks better than the other way. The Hollywood Flawless Filter, A plus, love it. Um, what else did I use? And then the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I really enjoy this. Um, I wish it was a little bit better matched to my skin tone. Um, this is probably more so a winter shade for me. Those are all my foundations, and so theoretically, I would like to pick this up in a summer shade, but I don't need to. Like, I have too many foundations. Um, concealers. Yeah, I like the ColourPop concealers. I don't, they're not the right undertones for me, but probably mixed together. They'd be, because one's a little too peach, one's a little too yellow, slash maybe I need to just look into it to see maybe they have a better match for me. Um, I loved the Tarte uh, Cream Bronzer. I really enjoyed the Fenty uh, Cream Contour Stick. I, I mean, for the most part that I can tell, I really like the La Mer Powder. Is it worth $100? I don't know, I barely use any, so at that rate, like it would last me forever, but still $100. Um, the Fenty Bronzer, I liked it. It kind of didn't show up on me as much as I wanted to, but that's my skin tone. It has nothing really to do with the product. Um, and maybe I just needed to build it up more. Um, what else? I love the Fenty lip glosses, like you can't go wrong. Mascara is tried and true. Eye products, eyebrow products are tried and true. Um, these ColourPop lashes are super cute. Um, they're just a little long, but most lashes are. You have to trim them. I just was dumb and didn't think about it first. The Le Velour, Velour um, Brow, no, Lash Adhesive Gel Liner. It's not a gel liner, but I'm using it as a liner is what I'm trying to say. Um, like that a lot. Super bomb. The Ofra Madison Miller um, Blush and Highlight Palette. I love this. I travel with this one a lot. Like... I've used this a lot and it doesn't even look like I've gone in on it and I've gone in on it. Like I've taken this many, many a trips. I think that's everything I used, right? If I forgot something, I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, Morphe setting this, but Lord, everybody knows how good that is. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Legitimately, my husband's gonna be home in like 10 minutes. Because that's, I don't remember if I said he's, called me to tell me that it was on his way home. His patient probably is like four or five hours before she's gonna deliver. So he's gonna come home and get some rest before he has to head back in. But so he can see me looking all crazy. Um, and with nowhere to go, cool. I mean, I'll probably take some pictures, not show anybody because Lord knows, I'll just use it for a thumbnail and that's about it because self-esteem is not very there. All right, I'm leaving now. This video was way too long. I apologize. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yeah? Yeah? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe! And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.